So I don't even really... I don't even really remember what we were doing. I know that I was going to... Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better size, but it needs to be lower now. Otherwise, it doesn't, you know, get cut off. Yeah, it's a good test. Thank you. Thank you, Vengeance. Appreciate it. Um, just trying to do uh, some housekeeping on my stream, you know. So I don't remember what my overall goal was before we ended the stream last time. I think we were getting ready to get the modification station set up, weren't we? Which was this way. Yeah, this. And then I wanted to get the air tank upgrade, pretty sure. So I need I need three more lithium to get that. To get the ultra glide, ultra glide fins, which is actually really easy. So we can get those. And uh, I don't really think I need the repulsive cannon, but what I wanted was the Seamoth Mark II. Ooh, and the Mark III. That's what I want. <clears throat> Indeed. So why don't we work today on upgrades and then we can continue on all the wonderful things in the world we want to do. Now, below zero is coming, okay? This is so annoying. Below zero is coming. And I, I am going to play that. I don't think we'll be able to play it immediately on release, which is a shame because like that's when it's like hopping. You know, as far as like viewership and stuff goes. But I'm going to do this structure. And I'm kind of getting this idea that I've, I've noticed something. All right. This is this is like something that maybe people will will hear and go, well, yeah, duh. But it's not evident to a lot of us creators, right? It's not evident. And it doesn't become evident until you have like a good collection of videos available on your channel. Like my channel has 1600 videos. It doesn't become super evident until you begin to build up that collection. And that is that this medium, um, I'm referring to Let's Plays, this medium is very uh, bingey, right? This is a medium where people love to absorb the content in a binge fashion more than anything else, more than other types of videos, right? Got to work on unlocking that next bit emote. <laughs> Clint, thank you for the 800 bits. That's incredibly generous, man. Thank you. 800 bits. My God. That's, that's more money than I would receive with three gift subs. That's awesome. Thank you. Um... What was I doing? All right, I'm looking for lithium because I want to unlock my upgrades. So this is a very bingy uh, form of like video production. And what happens is even if viewership sucks initially, right? There are instances where your content can just explode after the fact, like way after the fact. My first prison architect prison, prison town, that prison did not do all that well. Um, like, it didn't do nearly as good as it is already, right? It didn't do that initially. It was, uh, oh, hi. Hi, Lithium. Wait, I saw it. It was right there. There it is. It didn't do, like, super well right away. But then something happened. Introversion released an update for the game. And all of a sudden, a whole bunch of people were Googling for Prison Architect videos. And wouldn't you know it, they found mine. Because I actually have a little bit of experience in SEO and know how to make my videos discoverable a little bit, right? And that's when it started to blow up. So this backlog. And so I'm thinking to myself, you know, even if it doesn't do all that well, if you will, like if, if I'm looking at like purely from a viewership perspective, even if it doesn't do that well right away, is this a creature egg? It looks like a creature egg, but it doesn't. It is a creature egg. It's... I think I need, like, two more lithium, right? I need, like, two more. Even if it doesn't do really well right away, it might be worth finishing something if it doesn't take you a lot of time, of course. You have to, like, weigh the how long it takes to do it, but it might be worth just finishing something and putting it out there because it could be discovered later. And we've also said this in the past... Um, there's been something that's also been like a, I don't really want to say it's a philosophy, but um, it's certainly a true statement. I'll stand by it. 
And that is that you can't build a following for a game that you don't play. So, if you want to build a following for something, a genre of titles, this is mostly like advice for other creators, of course. If you want to build a following, you have to play the thing you want to build a following in. And you're not going to have it right away, so you can't expect it to do as well as your other stuff, right? And so, like, all this stuff is, this is all stuff that you, like, just begin to get more comfortable with as you create more content. I'm sort of reflecting on that pride video that I had, you know, pride video. That makes it sound uh, different than it is. Uh, that video about pride, right, and pride and work. It, it's one of those things where as long as you make content that you enjoy, there's a good chance other people who enjoy it are going to find it. And, uh, I, you know, I've, I've, more and more and more I'm realizing that, right? That doesn't mean I'm going to, like, continue conquering Kerbal Space Program and stuff uh, in the, the, the sense of what the way it was. Uh, but I'm going to start... I'm going to look at... I want to look at a Kerbal project that is also ambitious that we can do before KSP2. And one of those... One of the ideas for that is I want to build a mothership. No, sounds ambitious. Sounds awesome. Awesome at the same time. as ambitious. I want to build a mothership. I want to assemble a giant ship in orbit... You know, that's built in orbit, right? Oh, hi. We're, we're full? Is that so? Stand by. I'm just collecting resources for my upgrades, okay? Oh, we want to we wanna drop those. Uh, can we drop that on the ground, please? Thanks. I want to build a mothership that we can... It gets built in orbit, like a giant ship. It gets built in orbit, and then we can send it to a location, right? That's what I'd like to do in that. Now, that's way more viable in Kerbal Space Program 2. Way more viable, because it looks like... I mean, the crafts... The, just the crafts that they're showing off in the previews and stuff are so massive compared to what you can accomplish in, in, the, in the first game. So I anticipate, performance-wise, it's going to be way better. I'm really crossing my fingers, hoping for, like, multi-core support. Because, um, like, I didn't go ahead and buy an 8700K for nothing, okay? So, let's go. Multi-core, please. Up we go. Because right now, somebody with a quad-core processor can can play that game more effectively than, uh, than someone with an eight-core processor. Just because the maximum clock speed you can achieve with, like, I guess, I don't know. I don't think there's a single 8-core processor out there that can get to 5 gigahertz, but I'm pretty sure the, the old 7700K can, you know? And many of them can, so. Let's send the mothership to KSP2. Yeah, exactly. Sawinski! I still don't know if I'm saying your name right. I gotta look up. Did you, did you correct me before? Thank you for the 500 bits. It's incredibly generous. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. JD Meters, welcome. In my most recent Subnautica build, I set up a base at 200 meters with a shaft leading down to 600 meters through Blood Kelp Forest. Then out to the entry to the Lost River. So I don't know the names of all these biomes that you're talking about because I'm... I never... I could never be bothered to, like, learn the names of the biomes. My bad. But, uh, it sounds impressive that you managed to make a base that has interior 400 meters deep like it starts at 200 and goes all the way down to 600 that's that's pretty good um yeah wow all right so what i think i want to do let's do the air tank upgrade first so all i have to do is remove the tank and then i can make the ultra high capacity tank. Okay. Ultra high capacity tank. Done. Look at all that luscious O2. Oh boy. Oh boy. Next. We're going to make our fin upgrade. I just need one more silicon rubber. One more. I'm always forgetting where everything is. Ugh. I need my sign set up too. 
Any more silicon rubber? Yes, there. And titanium, which I have like a ton of it in here. Just gathered it. Just now got it. There we go. Ah, uh, wait, that's too much. It's okay. We're gonna put it in storage anyway. Just pop some of it in storage. Okay. Now we want to come and grab our fins. Or we can't because we don't have enough room. Okay, too much stuff. My bad. Uh, put the titanium in there. Can I have my fins off now? Thank you. It doesn't look any different. That doesn't look any different. I guess I take my fins off when we're... I guess I take the fins off when we're inside anyway, so it doesn't show up differently. I guess that makes sense. You wouldn't need the oxygen tank when you're inside, so... All right, good fins. What is the objective of this game? Uh, get off the island and escape. Not the island, the, the planet. Just, you crash landed, figure out the story behind the place, research stuff, build yourself a rocket ship and get yourself off the, off the world. Basically, that's the, the long and short of it. All right, making plasteel ingots though. I can swim really fast now. It makes me very happy. Plasteel ingots. Let's just hold on. Give me, give me some stuff in the vending machine. Hi. Consume, consume. Thanks. Whoops, wrong way. I need my signs. Really bad. Okay. So, what I want is... Uh, plasteel ingots. I need a titanium ingot for this. Which requires me to have 10 titanium to make the ingot. Which, as it turns out, I just so happen to have right now. So, maketh thy ingeth. Not drown? I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, I just told you. That's what it is. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to make the depth module for the Seamoth, right? I'm going to have to take off the upgrade. This already has. High upgrades. Take the depth module off of this. And I can use that depth module to improve it, All right? Take it over to the modification station. Okay. Apparently I didn't get the stuff. Oh. Oh, I, I made the ingot, but I didn't make the plasteel. And okay. My bad. I missed a step. Always trying to take shortcuts. Always trying to take shortcuts. Speaking of which, I don't know when this video comes out, so most likely on YouTube anyway, this video comes out well after the thing I'm about to talk about. But for those of you who are here live, there's a video coming out tomorrow for tomorrow's chrono sale. Chrono.gg. Charlie.chrono.gg. Yeah. Uh, you can get it if you want to. There's a video coming out for tomorrow's sale. I think you might like it. Maybe. It might end up turning into uh, a proper series. I don't know. We'll see. It's a game that has some pretty decent complexities. It surprises me. Um, when I first saw it, I didn't think much of it. And I also kind of thought it was a risk to make a video with it. Because I looked at it and went, yeah, that's got demonetization written all over it. Like, there's, there's just no way YouTube's going to, like, give me ads on this. You know? Not possible. Um... But I have since, you know, I've, I mean, I haven't necessarily seen other people play it, but um, I haven't yet seen somebody necessarily complain about it as far as like demonetization goes. So it might be okay. Let's put this poster right here. Yeah, right there. The next phase of Altera Exploration. What game is this? I'm contractually forbidden to tell you what the game is. Um, because I've already stated that it's on sale tomorrow, I can't tell you what it is. Now, I could have told you what it is and not told you that it was on sale tomorrow. I could have done that. But since I've told you it's on sale tomorrow, I can't tell you what the game is yet. But you'll see the video. It will post. Um, it should post exactly at noon tomorrow. So it, basically, that video posts right when we go live with RimWorld. Because, by the way... We're going live with RimWorld tomorrow. 
and it looks wild. Like, that hot potato thing, what a challenge that's going to be. And uh, it looks to me like... Do I need another plasteel ingot? Yeah, and another ruby, right? To make the depth module Mark III. Anyway, Rimworld Hot Potato is going to be fire. You guys, probably a lot of fire, actually. You guys should come out tomorrow at 12 o'clock. It's my turn tomorrow. And it is... Uh... We're actually going to raid after this broadcast. We're going to raid Resorty. So if you guys want to go check it out with Resorty, um, I encourage you to do that. Because it's his turn today. So we're going to raid Resorty. After this stream here, we're going to go check out what he's up to because he has the save file. I get it after he's done with it. So whatever he does with it, that's the... Yeah. Also, I, don't, I didn't install the depth module upgrade in this. So let's just do that now so I don't end up doing damage to this. Now the Seamoth can go 500 meters with that upgrade. Seems, seems good, man. So I just need to get titanium, which kind of just means getting, uh, you know what? Why don't we turn the scanner on if we have the power to do so? Why don't we turn the scanner on for fragments? And we can rapidly get not just fragments to research, but also rapidly get titanium that way too. Hot potato, yeah. That's a good question. What's hot potato? Hot potato is a... It's a season five, so they've done it a couple of times before this. Um, basically, it's a RimWorld save. It's a challenge run, so there's an overall objective. We'll go over that when we get to the stream for it. And um, it's a challenge run in RimWorld that takes place over the course of, you know, a couple of months. And the save file gets passed from one person to another. So we basically... It's like playing hot potato, if you ever had that as a kid. You pass it off one, one to another. Um, and so, it started on Monday. You can, see, you can see details about who's involved in it in the panel down below. I have a special RimWorld Hot Potato panel down, down below. Has a link to everyone's channel. Um, and you can, you can see more details on like who's doing it. Today is Resorty, tomorrow is me, and then I pass it off to the next person after that. And it just goes every day. Somebody's playing that save file every day. We're all streamers and we stream it every day, but we each have one day a week. Mine consistently, Saturdays at noon is what I'm gonna say. So Saturdays now are a thing starting tomorrow. Uh, scanner room, that's what I wanted to do. Turn the scanner room to fragments. And we're losing power rapidly, great. I have got to get more thermal power setup so that I can have that scanner room operating more consistently. Because as it is right now, I gotta hurry. Like, I gotta hurry. Actually, you know what? Let's just dump it in here. Dump it in here. They don't need these things either. Or this. Cheese. Come on now. Go. Let's get as much. Let's get as much titanium as we can. Wait, is this the only fragment there is? You're not detecting any other fragments? Really? It's unfortunate. Well, we're going to get in there then. I want to at least get that one. Maybe I should have done for metal instead of fragments. That's probably what I, I meant to do. It's probably what I meant to do. That's, that's the one way to word it. Where in the world is the opening? Here we go. Right here. Now, luckily, we have so much O2 now. There's no worries. It's basically a Kuda Matata. Unless we go into the electrical shock, which we should probably not do that. Do you have the four range upgrades for the scanner room already? No! Should I? How do I build those? I should build them. Wait, that's not the fragment. Oh. That's not the, not the fragment. I thought it was. Uh, how do I get to that? How do I get to that? 
It's got to be outside, right? Is it outside? Come on now. Oh, there's another door in there. How do I get over there? Where's the way in? There's another door. Come on now. Is it underneath? Maybe I have to go underneath. No. Shh. What do I need, like... Physics hacks to get into this thing? Be help. It would be helpful if I was trying to search for this not at night time. Oh. Hi. That is not where the marker is at all, but... Uh, no, it's still not the right fragment either. That's not the one. Can I can I do this one? I know that's a light, but I already have it. But I don't know how to get to that thing. It doesn't seem to be a door. I mean, there there was a door. I saw the door, but there doesn't seem to be a way to get to that door. Let's refresh my oxygen. Come on down. All right, let's see. Where would that... How do I get to that door? All right, now. All right. How do I get to that door? It's not on the top. Not this way. All on the side. Is it in here? I don't want to go near any flashing blue electrical light things. I'm just gonna, like, say I can't get this. There are vents in that first room? There are what? Didn't see any vents. Hang on. I didn't see any vents. Oh my gosh, this door is right here. What? No, that can't be it either, though. Because I'm trapped in here. That can't be it. That's the way out. Like, I'm not seeing this vent. There are two major sections to this wreck. How have I missed this other... This is the only section I'm aware of. How have I missed it? Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> Where did this come from? Is this real life? Is this real life? Actually, I can't get in there. That door doesn't open. Well, what the deal? Huh? How am I supposed to get in there and get that, that, that fragment? This is taking way longer than I want to. This fragment's probably already... Like, this is locked even. I can't get in there. So there's got to be a way in from the outside. Right? I mean, can I cut the door open from the outside? Somewhere? I think not. Hey, can I scan that? Oh. Oh, hey there. Here it is. What? Where did you come from? This game, man. <laughs> it's so hard sometimes to see things. Let's go. Let's get in there. I don't know what it is, but I've worked too hard to leave it alone now. I've got sunk cost fallacy at this point. Anyone know what sunk cost fallacy is? Anyone, anyone familiar with that term? Bonus points if you don't have to Google it. All right, hold on. Uh, light stick fragment. Great. A light stick. Well, at least I can synthesize that now. And we've got modification station fragments. I guess. I should probably get out of here before I run out of air. Which is a weird problem to have now that I have the ultra capacity tank. But uh, it's becoming a reality since I've been spending all my time trying to find that stupid thing. Alright, hold on. Let's go back around. 
and get over near that. The fragment scan is only for items you don't already have. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want the stuff I don't have. The light stick was apparently it. Which, don't get me wrong, it's it's good, I guess. I like, I like it, I think. I like how it takes forever to open that door. Because it's, you know, more realistic and all that. I don't even know if I'd be able to. Hey, a data box! Cyclops thermal reactor module. Well, that's worth it. See, see, this has been worth it, okay? And look, there's even a PDA. Scanner room voice log. Integrating new PDA. The way I see it, no one's to blame here. He gave me the wrong coordinates. She didn't give me clear instruction. Okay, I'll rephrase. You've been equally incompetent. Now, we've lost time, but we're closer to the planet. So if the Degasi's out there, the scan should pick it up. Why are we even helping the Mongolians? They're the competition. Enjoy your shore leave on Sanjay Station? Like having fuel in the tanks? Thank the Mongolians. We run the scans, we show them we didn't find anything, and we say thanks for the free dinner. Clear? Sir, there's something odd on the surface scan here. Turn that recorder off. These are all power cell fragments. I would have liked to have gotten the battery charger because I don't have that yet. Another data box. Super worth it to be in here. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of titanium in here too for us. Oh, I already have that. Uh, anything else in here? You. Hold still. Anything else? Just stay away from the electrical stuff, which I can't see very well. It's just light, but I can't... Like, I can see the light, right? But you can't see the spark, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't know how close I really am to that. So, I guess we just stay a really far distance away all the time. How's that sound? Uh-oh, I'm getting lost. Here we go. And... Oh, wait, what was that? Hi. Power transmitter fragment. Thanks. Composite plant. Cool. Office chair, thanks. See? We're getting all sorts of stuff in here. I told you there was another side to this place. <gasps> hey, picture frame! Now we can put Tesla in our base! We can finally have the dog portrait in the base. Free portrait for the for everyone. We're gonna put it in the base. Instead of that stupid cat. Ugh. It's a cute cat and all, but I'm not a cat person. Is my base... Oh my god, battery's probably dead by now. I would think, right? Aboard, oh, okay, so during the day, with the solar panels, we have enough to keep the power on. But during the night, we don't. Uh, what? Oh, right, that's the... That's going to be where the alien containment is. Stop the scan. All right, so you're talking about range upgrades. I need copper ore and magnetite. And then I can put four of them in here, right? That's the idea. So copper ore. This is all about upgrades. Like today is about upgrading for the future. So I need a stuff for that, don't I? We should probably put the storage, although it would take a lot longer to actually get things unloaded, but we could put the storage in the same room as the modification station. And this isn't going to be like you think, oh, put the modification station here instead, but this is going to be where all my food is. I want this to be like this giant tank. It goes straight up. It's going to be like, I don't know, maybe all the way to the surface. That'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? We just put solar panels above the water. Why not? I'm not a cat person. Han looks at phone and walks off, right? <laughs> Did your cat leave? As soon as I said that, like a, a, a properly timed exit. That sounds funny. Uh, okay, so there's the titanium ingot and I was going to make a plasteel ingot. That's what we were gonna do. Which is two more lithium. Which I hopefully have in this locker. I have one. I'm gonna take all this stuff as well. And uh, 
Yes. So, the next upgrade to build, right, was... Do I want Seamoth Mark III now? Is that worth it? Do I just do Mark III now? Because to do that would be one more ruby, which is pretty easy to find. And then I think the Plasteel Ingot is... I just need one more Lithium. So basically one ruby and one, one Lithium. And I could just do the depth now. I think I will. I think we'll just make it to where the Seamoth can go anywhere it wants. All the time. Oh, the other thing I wanted is is not this. It is it is uh this reinforced dive suit. I want this. And to get this, I need synthetic fibers. Uh, and synthetic fibers are made from blood oil, right? So I think we go and collect a little bit of blood oil too. So let's put the titanium away, put the rubies away, put all this stuff away. And uh, let's go find some blood oil, too. I also need to go fishing to get food. Which, you know, I can just do it with my thermal, with that knife that I have. So I'm just going to go to my crops first, though. Hi, Bulbo Tree. You don't mind if I just take a little bit off the top, do you? Just a tiny trim. No big deal. Pew, pew, pew. And then uh, that's the water. Hi, water. Can I have that? Thanks. And then uh, we'll just cut up a fish outside to cover the difference in the balance there. Thermal module combined with the shield should be enough to deal with leeches. Yeah, yeah, I want the suit. Aces, hi. Welcome back in. How are you? I think the picture frame only lets you put up screenshots from the game. Might be able to put other files in that directory to put in the frame. Not sure. I better be able to put my own. I want my own Tesla portrait in the game. That. Whoops. Nope. Sorry. I'm that. I'm mirrored. Keep forgetting I am. We are going to get the blood oil. Oh, hi, Warper. Bye, Warper. Why are you here? Why are you a thing? Why do you exist? Also, if I ever, any any time I see quartz, I should grab it. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he? I'm out. I don't know where he is. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that shit. Where did he go? <laughs> There he is. He's decided to show up again. Good for you, asshole. Get out of my way. All right, grab the quartz. I'm all the way down. Sub or pizza today? What do you mean? You guys have given me way too much lately. Just You can just cool it, sit back and relax, and allow me to like pay you back through the art of entertainment, okay? There's no need for anything else. Thank you, though. Uh, do I need more than... I think I need more than that. You know, let's get a bunch of blood oil instead. Um, just kind of drop down here. There's like three of them. I know that the freaking warper is there, though. So I'm a little bit iffy on going that close to it. Where did he go? I hate when he disappears. It's the worst. I'm just gonna grab one and call it good. Get out. Just don't, just, just don't hurt me, bro. Okay? I'm right here, but you don't need. Yeah, there you are. You're back. Hi. Um, you know what? Let's grab. We're just gonna grab the quartz. That's it. Just this quartz and that quartz. This one and this one. Okay, and then we're out of here. No more greed. No more greed. We're getting out. Goodbye. <laughs> you know you can plant blood kelp, right? I can't plant it until I have the tank. I don't have the big tank. I need to plant it. 
Hey, light particle. I was named Photonen before, but people didn't know how to say it. Did I did I get it right? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome in. There is more blood oil. There is, I know. There is more. I I am aware of the the moreness. They got a lot of moreness out of this. Can I make benzene? Now I want to make synthetic fibers. But I don't know how. Because it doesn't show me the recipe for that. Like, it just... It doesn't show me how to make it. I have the benzene. If I scroll up, there's no recipe. There it is. Uh, fiber mesh. Okay. I need fiber mesh. Well, that makes sense. Let's go get it. We're going to a much safer area to get that. There's the, the sitcom laughter again. You can't unhear it. I will make sure that you always hear it. Hey, fish. I'm sorry, but you are tasty. Now you are mine. Okay. HB Davis gifting out a sub to the light particle. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for the support. Welcome in, light particle. Foden in. Did I say it right? <laughs> nah, you didn't. Okay. Photonin. We're going to try it until we get it right. And then you're going to be like, well, shit. Now that he knows how to say it, I could just have my old name. Photonin. <laughs> oh, he's getting some exposure on this video. We're going to be saying his name like dozens of times. It's going to get to the point where the attention being received is going to just outweigh, you know, admitting that I got it right the first time. He's just going to be like, nah, you still didn't get it, man. It's like, but I said it twice. Three different ways. Four different ways. That's oh, still not right. <laughs> I did it to deny Charlie his respite. <laughs> Thank you, HB Davis. Appreciate it, man. You know what? I, I really should set up more thermal stuff. You know? Uh, fibers. That's what we're doing. We're going to make a better suit so we take less damage. All right? That's the goal. Take less damage. Now, I think that is a noble goal because this is permadeath. And there's one thing. There's absolutely one thing we cannot do in this game. And that is die. Because we have to start all over. We could do anything else wrong. Everything can be done wrong except die. Don't die. So, let's take care of our health by getting a better suit. All about them upgrades. And the metal scraps that are going to come. And uh, a high Seamoth fragment. Good. We've got depth modules. We've got the better tank. The better fins. Now we need a better suit. We'll be in great shape. You know what? I think I want the hull reinforcement upgrade too for the Seamoth. So that we don't... Is there a way to deter... Like creatures from attacking the Seamoth. I know I can't deter like the Viathan class stuff, but if I could deter. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I want the the fibers, dumbass. Go get the fibers. Creep vines, fibers, poison. Yeah, these are going to start deteriorating, like, immediately. Why don't we go here, and, uh, I don't think it... Does not matter if they deteriorate too far to make the fibers, though? Like, these things deteriorate after, like, one minute. Saying it incorrectly dozens of times. <laughs> Fo... Town... Nen... Ish. So last time was quite good. Photonin. 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 Okay. There's the perimeter defense module. What does that do? Is that do does that doing what exactly what I asked? Is this uh 
Is this an Olaf moment? Where I'm like, hey, I don't know if this helps, but I found this bridge that takes you exactly where you want to go. Yeah, my kid's been watching a lot of Frozen. Like, it's my fault, you know? I went in and said, hey, kids like this movie a lot. I'm going to show it to you. Just once. That's all it takes. Just like the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid was the same way. Like, I show the kid the movie once, and he's he just walks around the house going, uh... <laughs> like, he just, he just wandering around the house doing this, like some sort of ghostly omen. <laughs> I'm like, are you okay? Uh, so there's the synthetic fibers that we need. That's great. Now we just have to make the, the suit. Do I have everything that's needed to do that? Uh, and the answer is diamonds, which I have uh, in storage. Not here, but I have storage somewhere, somewhere else. Hey, let's listen to this message before we uh, forget. Because I don't think I have a radio in the base. We should build a radio in the base. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroyed. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. What? I'm going to guess that that's me. Just shot in the dark kind of guess. I'm going to say that he's probably talking about me. You know what? That radiation helmet can stay there. It's fine. Dog walking time. Azri, I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> Have fun, dude. Uh, he's like, had it in me. What are you... Dog walking? That's... It's not exactly any moral compass that would think there's something wrong with that. <sighs> Primitive defense lets you use electrical power to shock in a sphere around the moth, driving off things. Where would I find this in the list? I want torpedoes, too. I don't think I've ever actually used them. Can you kill a Leviathan-class thing with torpedoes? Can I take it out of the equation? That's probably challenging, but... Can it be done is what I really want to know. That life pot is at 500 meters. Convenient. I just so happen to uh, have that module done now. The next stage of the story can happen. Isn't that nice? Hi. Hi. Give me that. Metal salvage. Why is my phone vibrating? I know, because somebody's calling me. But the real question is, why is someone calling me? At this hour? It's the middle of the day. In case you didn't know. Maybe you're not watching this live. Maybe you're one of the amazing people who watch it on YouTube instead. In that case, I just want you to know I love your faces. I love you. I love you. Not in like a homo way, men. Okay? It's more like a bro way. It's like a, like a, like a soldier loves another soldier who's part of his unit. Right? It's like, you know, it's like it's a camaraderie. You're, you're a comrade, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> By the way, I'm the one that suggested torpedoes for the Seamoth. Let, let it all be known. Let it all be known that Theta was the one that suggested torpedoes for the Seamoth immediately after I did. Let it be known. Let all, let all bask in the glory of Theta's backseat gaming prowess. Give them the credit and respect that they deserve. Nuclear waste disposal. I love it. We can uh, dispose of our nuclear waste. Did you know that? We have the capabilities of doing that now. Now if I just find some nuclear waste, if I could ever find any. No, it's because it's... Uh, 
Probably for a nuclear power station, which I don't have yet. And would love to get a little bit of. Hello, hoop fish. Can I eat you? Are you edible? Are you... Did I just... I, I didn't... I didn't harvest. I wanted to... Did I harvest? Okay, I did harvest. Good. Good. Can I have... Uh, okay, lead. Not quite what I was looking for, but thanks. Are you after me? Excuse me? Can I help you? Do you want to go? Actually, wait till I get my reinforced suit. Okay, then we can talk. All right, I don't feel comfortable taking you on uh, when I am only half armed, okay? Allow me to get my defenses and I'll be back. I will be back. Prepare yourself. War is coming, okay? Proper noun is he, Charlie. For me anyways. Wait, what did I say? Wait, what did I say? I don't remember putting, I mean, my memory is shit. So, but I don't remember putting a male or female context on that sentence at all. I thought I left it gender neutral. I thought I did anyway, maybe not. Beacon. And over here. Uh, okay. You know what, should we make some more synthetic fibers? Well, we don't have the storage for it anyway, unless I go like this. And then we just, you know, take a little off the top, just a bit of a trim. There, that gives me enough to make more. Onwards to the base, which is so far away it seems. But I wanna get my reinforced suit. And then, like, I feel a little bit better about going deeper. Um, you know, like, warpers and stuff. Like, if they pull me out of the Seamoth, I'll feel a little bit more comf- Like, it's still bad, but I'll feel a little bit better about it if I have that extra, you know, the extra armor, that extra damage resistance and stuff. Also, um, fish do way more damage to the Seamoth than they should. I'm just saying. It's like hitting a deer, but that deer has like concrete bricks for feet and doesn't actually move when you hit it. For some reason. I don't follow that homo love, but then again, $20 is $20. $20, that's... Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> he's cheap. Twenty dollars. He's he's cheap, guys. Damn. <laughs> Let's get you down here. And here we go. By the by, you are a wonderfully terrible influence. I went ahead and updated both the main game and Below Zero, and then lost an entire two days playing both of them. Bam bam! Glad you had a good time, Midnight. That's one of the things I like to do. You know, it's to be a bad influence. It's, uh, it's a mission. It's a mission objective. As long as I can be a bad influence, but do it in style. Then we're, uh, I'm, I'm succeeding. Don't call someone cheap when you pride yourself on being cheap. Oh, God. Niall, you know, I love what you're doing there. I love what you're doing there. The constant references to the vlog. I love it. Keep doing that. <laughs> then everyone can be like, wait, what is he talk? What is she talk? What? What? What is he talking about? I don't understand. When has he ever said he was cheap? And then, you know, maybe people will be like, I really want to know these references. Okay, fine. I'll be a patron. I get what you're doing. I, I approve. <laughs> um, did I get, I didn't get another Ruby though, did I? Because I kind of wanted to get the Mark III. I kind of wanted to get the Mark III. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Let's go grab a Ruby. One Ruby isn't going to hurt anybody. No. 
No, no, I want to do I want to do the reinforced suit. That's what I came out to do. Do that first. And that is not here. Wait, where do I make that? Excuse me. I need I mean, I have other diamonds. And I have I have all this stuff. Equipment. Do I just build it in the base? The base mo uh manufacturer? I don't need the it doesn't look like I need the modification station because it doesn't require me to have the base suit as part of it. So, yeah, I build it right here. Okay, cool. So, diamonds. I have diamonds. There's two diamonds and then the titanium, which is located in here. And then we get the suit. Reinforced dive suit, baby. Love it. Love it! Heavy synthetic fiber dive suit, providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. Ho, ho, ho! Now who wants to go in and, uh, you know, put down the thermal power plants? This guy! Because I have uh, more extreme temperature protection. It's good. I, I love the upgrade system in this. Like, it's just, it's super cool. Like, it promotes, it rewards the player for exploration that's off the beaten path, if you will. It rewards the player for saying, I don't need to stick directly to the story. Let's go explore for a little bit. And then it just, like, gives it to you. And it, I love it. If you find it, like, if you can find it, you can have it. All right. How much glass do I actually have? Because I want to kind of start transforming this base a little bit into more glass, too. I'm obsessed with glass. Absolutely the best thing I could do in this base is turn the entire, all the walls glass. That is my opinion. Both professionally and personally. Mm, why is this an inventory? Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, hi. You, there. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Um, new plan. Um, where is my... Here. New plan. We are going to build another locker. It can be over here, no problem. Just keep it over here for a second. This will be for all of the old stuff. We don't need to have anymore. Should I have the sea glide with us now? I don't think that's necessary. I mean, we have the better flippers now. I mean, granted, this is still faster, but we have the other, we have those ultra glide fins now. We can swim pretty fast. I don't think it's necessary to keep that on me all the time anymore. I don't think I need this many med packs on me either. I say that, and now we're going to go down and, you know, meet our doom, but. Where would I make? It's, I want to get the Seamoth to be Mark III, but I also want the hull reinforcements. The whole reinforcements are, where is it? Where is it? Whole reinforcement. I just need four diamonds. Damn. Well, I know how to find those. We find them in shale. Let's go. The gloves, Charlie, the gloves. I got it, I got it. Sooner or later, we find it. Shale chunks. Let's let's figure out where they are and go get them. Let's go get them. There's one right below us. Look at that. Storage? Are you empty? No. Let's empty that out too. I love the sound for the fabricator. Probably one of my favorite sounds of all time. Super good. I could listen to it all day. Make a song out of it. In fact, you know, that sounds like something that some people who are, some people like Shimoyo or whatever their name is, right? I could see them incorporating that at some point, you know, auto-tune the, auto-tune the fabricator module. <laughs> that, that would just be, I feel like that would just be a waste of time, <laughs> but I'd like to see it attempted. It's one of those why not situations, not a why, but a why not. I certainly think that that's... Can we fix this? 
put all this time and effort into upgrading it just to have it die. <sighs> Ruby's in the locker. 70 cents. Try having 80, try having 60 cents until next Thursday. Don't shame him. $20 is $20. I, I feel like I missed something. What's the 20 cents for? I have 70 cents till the third of next month. 70 cents? Wait, are you saying that that's... You have 70 cents, like, total? You shouldn't be subbed. Don't sub. Take care of yourself. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that for me. I'm not worth that. I keep telling that to chicken, too. Like, chicken, you don't have to... You don't have to support, man. All right? You live in Thailand. Like, Thailand is... He stays up... I don't... Like... Excuse me, sir? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. No. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Come here. No, yeah, you, you're running away. Little bitch. I splurged on a laptop and a new charger. Gotcha. So you're not broke because just like the conditions of life. You're broke because you just spent on luxury goods. All right. That makes sense. Please, by all means, continue continue supporting. <laughs> I said this on my, uh, my old Patreon video, which like I need to remake my Patreon video. Um, right now, I'm just using that clip of Frickin' warpers. Right now I'm just using that clip of me announcing full time, but I've been meaning to like get a proper one. Cause I used to have a proper one. But it was very uh it was very like KSP heavy. Because at the time I made it, I was KSP was like the thing we were doing. See, I wanna go get that shale, but that stupid warper is down there, and I don't really like them. And by really like them, I mean they're like my least favorite person in the whole world. They're my least favorite thing to ever deal with. So, I would really rather not. Lithium. Did I get... I haven't been getting the diamonds that I want, though. It keeps popping up for me to... What am I supposed to scan here, game? You keep popping things up for me to scan. 